Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch work on Wednesday. Uh, disclaimer. Kids are in the background. <laughs> Making noise, but I'm a mom, so it's life. Anyways, whew, we just got home a little while ago. We went to a park and uh, walked some, uh, like, paved trails for the, so we could take the stroller. <laughs> and this particular park had a bunch of Pokemon stops, so we played Pokemon a lot while we were there. And then we stopped and got some food at Food City. <laughs> Uh, just through their deli area and then we came home and I'm tired now <laughs> but um, I got some couple whoops to share with you the same ones I've been showing <laughs> just got progress on them though and uh, yeah also I'm gonna be putting bags in the shop soon I just cut them yesterday a whole bunch of them here <laughs> um, and some of them are like Easter prints I had some Easter fabric and I wanted to go ahead and get it cut and ready for the shop just so I don't procrastinate and pass up Easter because I do that sometimes but yeah, so anyways, hopefully it won't be too loud in the background. So my first whip in the Pokemon bag. Okay, this is the um, Halloween pink dress by uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. It is a Minnie Mouse dress. It's just copywritten. <laughs> the title, you know, the, the name Minnie. So I got some more progress done on it. The whole dress is done, except I gotta do the spots, the polka dots. I got the whole little dress done, and I did the trim in white. It's back there. I gotta weave in the ends <laughs> from the sleeves, and there's there's more ends on in the inside where I attach the sleeves. There's a few more ends in there. But I got the dress done, and I was going to start. I think on the shoes. I did go ahead and make the little bows for the shoes. They're just these, but then you you will like squish them and wrap it around to make little bow shapes. So I still gotta make the the hat, the shoes, and the pants. So my God, this is Red Heart. All, all of it's Red Heart. I'm going to be using Red Heart Black, White, and um, I can't remember what this pink one's called. I always forget. I think it's pretty and pink. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. It's down in the bag. I can't get it out. But uh, it's pretty cute and I like it. I can't wait to get it done and then start on another one because I like making these little doll clothes. So I'll link that below. It is paid for pattern. That was my first whip. My second whip is my corner of the corner blanket. I am decreasing it now. Uh, this is kind of like my side project, like when I'm just sitting around and get squeezing a little bit of crochet, I pick this up. So I have worked on it a little bit. I am using um, Mandala Baby yarn for it, and the colorway is called Pixie Hollow. So I used one whole cake to increase it, and then I have two more cakes, so I'm going to decrease it, and then if I need more to decrease it, I have a third cake. Plus, I might put a border on it. I don't know yet. I haven't made up my mind. Let me pull this up so I don't pull my stitches out because I tend to do that. Alright, so it's getting pretty big. That's about the whole size of it there. This is where it was last time I showed you, so I've only added like three rows. But it is decreasing now. It's squaring up up there and down here. So I'm excited that it's decreasing. But I like the way it looks. It's really pretty. I love the colors. And um, I'm going to see once and for all because I've always heard that it takes more yarn to decrease a corner to the corner than it does to increase. So I'm going to find out. Because the only difference between decreasing and increasing is when you increase and you get to the end of it, you chain six and then work back into the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. And then when you decrease, you just do slip stitches. I don't feel like that's a whole big different amount of yarn. So I'm going to see. Because I used one entire cake, a new, you know, it was new, never used cake, to increase it. And then the first row of decrease had a little bit of yarn in it. So I will know when I get done with this if it really does take more yarn. I've always heard that, but I've never actually had someone like uh, test it out to see if that's true. So I guess I'm going to do that. <laughs> but I'm using, a, I think, a G hook. Yeah, it's a four millimeter on this. And it's chugging along. <laughs> I'm getting it done. Let me fold it back up and put it back in my bag. I don't lose anything. It's just in a candy corn bag. <laughs> I made that one forever ago. It was one of the first bags I made. And then the other, only other whip I'm working on is my sweater. It's on this bag. My shiny bag. And I will show you this much of it. So I got a piece done here. And then this is the yarns I'm using. I was going to make it scrappy. But then I decided to just pull these yarns out of my stash. So this is Red Heart. Lavender, maybe? <laughs> uh, shocking Pink and Soft White. So those are the yarns that I'm using. I heard June coming. Hello! <laughs> For my sweater. 
but yeah so at the end of this video i'm going to insert some clips of the park i took some clips of the ducks <laughs> and i think of june walking um and also my saint patrick's day i took down my valentine's day decorations and you can just see some of the saint patrick's day i'll put them up because it's in a month and uh yeah so i'm going to share those with you at the end of this Maybe a couple other clips, I don't know. <laughs> but let me know down in the comments what you guys are working on. And feel free to share any links and stuff like that. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.